we've got at least one round of applause anyway, so thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. And for those of you who have been here before, you will probably recognise this. Or will you? That's how it starts.
plants, the, the mics make cracky sounds, and you'll hear a that. Um, now, <laughs> to finish this set in style, the blocks go, breeze stays, and listen to Tasha singing a fado. Here she is. Hosanaka. <laughs>
make a couple of announcements. Firstly, this event tonight is being recorded on video camera. Okay? So if you're performing, please don't listen to the next thing I'm going to say, which is that we usually put these, uh, these evenings on YouTube. <laughs> Have you ever been on YouTube before? No, I haven't. I think actually, yes, I was on there once. Uh, but if, if you have a problem with that, please tell Lynn or, or someone else. Uh, and we don't have to put your act on YouTube if you don't want it to be there. You know, nowadays we have to say all this stuff. But if you don't mind and you want a good laugh afterwards, or rather to appreciate all the artistic talent that we have here tonight, then of course, don't say anything. Just watch. Okay, the second thing is if you, you're probably noticing that I'm looking down here, um, there's a white line here. <laughs> and if you put your foot there, there could be a very nasty accident. So please stay this side of the white line. Okay? Okay, that. The next thing is if you hear somebody say fire, that means that's not good. So, <laughs> I'm going to shoot at you then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it could cause a nasty accident, but um, we have an exit there, and another one there, and another one there, so, you know. Anyway, sit back and enjoy the show. The next act, I'm pleased to inform you, is a young man from Switzerland. His name is Elias, and he's going to come up here, or down here. <laughs> songs he'll be joined by his friend Furkan. Okay, I'll leave it to you, the man in the hat.
house in New Orleans They called the rising sun And it's been the ruin of many poor boys and me Oh God, I'm one My mother was a tailor He's on the drum. Now, mother, tell your children not to do what I have done. Don't spend your life in sin and misery in the house of the rising sun. Now, one foot on the platform. But I don't want nothing at all 
way to hear that applause. While they were playing, I was listening and I just sort of fell asleep for a little while. My kind of music. Are you feeling relaxed? Yeah. Well, that will change. Now, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we did, we did invite the Rolling Stones to perform here. Uh, but they said they had another engagement. What a shame. But we, we had Mark and Mike and Natasha, remember? Anyway, the next thing... Oh, I just need to... I was thinking this afternoon, what a wonderful summer it's been at Hilderstone College this year. We've had warm weather, no rain. In fact, it's been really hot, hasn't it? Water! So Water. hot! Excuse me? Water! Nothing Water. to drink. Water! Yeah, just, just go away. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll see him again a bit later. But yeah, it's been a very hot, warm summer. And we're going to continue now with keeping the temperature up with our next performance, ladies and gentlemen, which is some people from Germany doing some kind of dancing. Um, actually, Marjan lives in Germany, but she comes from Afghanistan. And Maria, and Annika, and Eva, and Enna, and Sabrina. The act is called Garde. I don't know what that means. And it's something to do with carnival in Köln. So, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Garde. <laughs>
Actually, it's quite interesting because I hope you weren't looking at me for that. So. I thought it got easier as it got faster, but I guess uh, I could have been wrong there. Um, I don't know what the next act is. Oh! <coughs> Do you remember Mark? Say yes. You'll be, be very hurt if you can't remember him. Well, Mark is going to sing us another song now. And it's another one of those songs that uh, I remember from my childhood. 1492. Yeah. Anyway, here's Mark, and it's in your program, and he's going to sing something about having a nice, refreshing drink. Mark. So, hello again. Now, you probably remember that when I was playing the bass, I had a strap around it and it sort of hung around my neck and I could do things. But this is a bit more difficult. And it's an acoustic guitar. Now, what do guitarists do if they've only got an acoustic and they want to be louder? And they haven't got a strap. I want you all to sing, and this is what you sing. You sing, have a cup of tea, have a cup of tea. Can you do that for me, please? Have a cup of tea. <laughs> now, you could just go on saying tea forever, but uh, better, have a cup of tea. Have a cup of tea. Have a cup of tea at the end. Sing that twice. And then after that, you sing, you sing, after that you sing, Alleluia, 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 Rosalie. <laughs> Why Rosalie? Can you even know? Rosalie means Saturday. Well done, that man with the glasses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Rosalie is partly rhyming his for cup of tea. So those are your words. Have a cup of tea. E -e 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 -e. And Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. And that's the chorus you'll know when to come in. I'll sort of smile at you. Um, there are three bits. After the third bit, never mind have a cup of tea, just come straight in with an hallelujah. Okay? And, oh, we haven't actually practiced the hallelujah, have we? So, hallelujah, 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 Rosalie. Tea 
When it's raining tea, when it's pouring tea, when the weather's fine. You have tea as midday stimulant. You have tea with your afternoon tea. For any old ailment or complaint, for God's sake, have a cup of tea.
ladies and gentlemen, because in your program it says a mystery guest. And I could spoil it for you, but no, I mustn't. So ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the mystery guest. student says, I do. 
and the intermediate student says, me too. And the complete beginner says, me three. <laughs> <laughs> That's a stupid joke, my mother hates it. Okay, thank you very much. It's a stupid joke, my mother hates it. Um, okay, uh, three men rob a bank and uh, they run out of the bank with lots of money but the they can see the police coming. So the robbers run into a nearby park and each robber climbs up a tree, three different trees. And the police arrive in the park and they can't see the robbers but they can hear something in the trees. So they go to the first tree and they shout, who's up there? And the first, the first robber says, Meow. And the police say, okay, it's just a cat. <laughs> so they go to the second tree and they shout, who's there? And the second robber says, tweet, 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 tweet. And the uh, police say, okay, it's just a bird. They go to the third tree, who's there? And the third robber goes, moo. <laughs> I had, I had to explain that to the audience last year, they wouldn't understand it. Uh, okay, the final joke. Um, was there, was there a, a staff against students football match yesterday? Was it cancelled? Okay, last month there was a staff against students football match. And um, teacher Sue went to the football match with her little dog to watch and the students won 8 nil. And Sue's dog said, oh no, not again. And one of the students hears this and he goes up to Sue and says, um, did your dog just say, oh no, not again? Uh, and Sue says, yes, he always says that uh, when, the, when the students beat the staff in the football match. So the student says, uh, what does your dog say? when the uh, staff beat the students. And Sue says, I don't know, the staff have never beaten the students. <laughs> that, that's the joke. <laughs> it, it used to be better than that. Um, it used to be about the England football team. And this guy, a guy goes into um, a pub with a dog and they sit down and they're watching the England football game and it goes to, it's nil-nil at 90 minutes, it's nil-nil at, um, after extra time, so it goes to a penalty shootout, and England lose the penalty shootout, and the dog says, oh no, not again, and the barman says, does your dog always say that when England lose a penalty shootout, uh, and then, yeah, the guy says, yeah, England have never won a penalty shootout, but unfortunately they did this year, which spoiled my joke. <laughs> I was very upset. All right, thank you very much. Uh, good evening. <laughs>
master of ceremonies, that's me. Um, we have a lot of names for master of ceremonies. Fool, idiot. Um, and uh, they usually tell a joke. But because you had the mystery guest and that wonderful skeptic, did, did you hear the last line, by the way? Yeah. Well, about the time. You see, here in, here in Britain, um, we like ties. And anyway, we've had enough of ties. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going to introduce the final act to you tonight. Now, in your program, it mentions the classic Two Ronnies sketch. Now, the Two Ronnies, if you don't know, were two famous English comedians. And this is a very, it's a favourite sketch to lots and lots of British people. And it's called the optician. Uh, the optician. Do you know what optician is? It's the guy that, you know, person that prescribes your glasses. So Mark and John, give them a warm welcome for this classic sketch, the optician. Yes. Can you see out of both eyes? If 
you are, you can, you're cheating. And note. Okay. Right. Let's try this lens first. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Oh, worse. <laughs> Let's try this. So. <laughs> oh, that's better. Oh, good. I hope you put it in there. That's fine. So, let's take those off for you, maybe one there. Oh. And uh, come over here and we'll get you some frames. Oh, right. Okay, do you want to go? This way, this way, over here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Right, so there's that dog again. Yes. <laughs> right, so uh, these look nice frames. Try them. Have a look at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs>